Professor Dr. Ayub Nabi Khan is the first Provide Chancellor and is now acting Vice Chancellor of BZMA University of Fashion and Technology in Bangladesh. He obtained his Bachelor degrees in textile technology from the University of Dhaka. He earned his MSc and PhD degrees in textile technology from the University of Manchester in the UK. Under the Commonwealth Scholarship Scheme, he has 33 years long service experience in teaching, research, and industry. He rendered his service for 26 years in teaching and research in different universities of home and abroad, including UMIST Manchester, UK. He was the principal of Bangladesh's first public-private partnership educational institute called as National Institute of Textile Engineering and Research, NITER, an affiliated institute of the University of Dhaka, where he played a key role in making it a full-fledged educational institution which was nearly at a state of closing down. He has research interest in textile raw materials, yarn manufacturing technology, basic textile science and technical te textiles. He has research interest. Uh, he has over uh, 28 uh, paper published in well-reputed national and international journal. He authored one textbook on yarn manufacturing technology titled Principles of Short Staple Spanning, Spinning, Volume 1 for the students of undergraduate level. He worked as a national expert in the different projects under EU, UNIDO, D8, ADB, and World Bank. He is involved in several international activities like the Netherlands supported CSR project, European Union supported RMG life cycle analyst project, German government collaborative project titled Higher Education for Sustainable Textile. Professor Khan is a lifetime member of different professional and educational bodies like the University of Professor UMIST alumni of the UK, Institute of Textile Engineers of Technologies, Bangladesh. He is a fellow member of the Institution of Engineers, Bangladesh, IAB. He was awarded a fellowship of the Textile Institute, TI, of the UK in 2010. He was the first Bangladeshi to receive the TI Golden Medal Award in Education 2018. He was also awarded for excellence in teaching in higher education from DKIRF India. Now, I invite the distinguished professor, Dr. Ayu Ali Khan, and a keynote speaker of ICSCT 2021 for the presentation on an exclusive theme of impact of information and communication technology in textile volume chain. I would like, I would not like to remind our, uh, I would like to remind our honorable key notice speaker uh, of our session time limitation and it is up to 11.45 morning, then 15 minutes will left for question answering, photo session and closing session. We are now eagerly looking for, forward to initiating your exclusive keynote speech, Professor Dr. Ayub Novi Khan. The floor is yours. Thank you, the session chair, Honorable Professor Ali, the Honorable Treasurer of BUBT, uh, respected moderator, Professor Dr. Engineer uh, Rubayat, and distinguished professor, academics, participants of this international conference on science contemporary technologies organized by uh, Bangladesh uh, University of Business Technology. Uh, it is my great pleasure to present a keynote on impact on information and communication technology in textile value chain. Could you please allow me to share? 
Yes, please, sir. My keynote speech is on impact of information and communication technology, ICT, uh, textile value chain. Information and communication technology has a significant part to play as developing countries regulate to the new era. These opportunities will depend the ability of the ICT to open up part of the uh, textile value chain to the developing countries. The paper focuses on uses of ICT in textile value chain and success of industries to transformation. The global textile and garment sector has been in a state of flux since January 2005, when almost four decades of restriction on trade formally came to an end with the demise of the multi-fiber agreement MFA quota system. Many developing countries now face increasing competition and downward pressure on prices as the global garments industry consolidates around a relatively small num number of winners. ICT as a all-purpose technology can improve textile business practices and increase the efficiency and affordability of developing countries industries. Moreover, ICT is the main driver that ships value along the value chain enabling textile and apparel business models disaggregating production chain and create new opportunities for developing countries. The textile and garments industry are required to demonstrate analysis needed for a realistic strategy for ICT, enabling enable growth in any sector. Core tasks include understanding the sector's existing global value chain, assessing a country's potential competitiveness as value shifts along the chain and highlighting any obstacle to growth in the country's domestic economic structure. This list includes tasks for the private sector and for policy makers. Particular aspects of the broader enabling environment will be important for competitiveness at each stage of the textile and garments value chain which includes infrastructures, road, ports and airports, as well as telecoms and other ICT investment. Policy and regulations, such as cost of access to telecoms and internet, competition policy, banking regulation, customs clearance rule, etc. ICT improves relevant business management skill, including the ability to restructure business model and re-engineer firms other skill that sufficiently widely available that employer can hire the workers who will be needed to implement ICT-based strategies. Information flows that determines patterns of trade and market access, including historical and personal links, as well as officially mediated trade contacts. For instance, the wide range of ICT application already in use within the textile and garments industry encompasses everything from advanced computer-aided design and virtual prototyping packages to the online handling of routine customs and export bureaucracy. It is possible to connect every stage of the whole value chain electronically, and for large commodity suppliers, this can bring big advantages, but developing country suppliers often face a number of hurdles in selecting and implementing a useful ICT system. Many other factors need to be assessed in order to produce a successful ICT strategy. For instance, a slow, unreliable internet connection at a factory in Africa may mean it takes hours to download a detailed electronic specification, yielding frustration rather than any savings. If we look into the textile sector of Bangladesh, we can see the textile sector accounts for 84% more than 84% of the total, the total export revenue, 40.45 uh, billion in the year 2018 and 19. And later on, 1920 and 2021, there was a big downward uh, uh, revenue uh, from textile sector. It was definitely, we all know that due to the pandemic reasons it happened. It was hoped to become a 50 billion industry by 2021. 
but we, we could not achieve it due to these unforeseen circumstances. If we look into the development of RMG sector, when it started its journey in 1978, you, you will see the, the growth, uh, significant growth every uh, four or five years up to 2020, uh, 1919, and then a little bit downward in the last two years. So there is a huge uh, development in this sector and a very important contribution to the, our economy, uh, national economy. The contribution we can tell now here, textile and RMG contribute about 40% of the industry value chain, provide nearly 4.5 million jobs, of which 70% are women, 84% uh, export earning from this sector, provide 0.2 million jobs in waste recycling industry related to RMG, contributes more than 11% to our GDP, provide indirect employment to 0.8 million workforce in accessories industries related to RMG, generate huge financial base for banking, insurance, shipping, transport, hotel, cosmetics, toiletries, and other economic activities. Due to this huge development, there is a very good emancipation, significant emancipation in the country's economic development. If we see the export as we last seen in a few slides, so that is also you. It's the same thing. Uh, it can be seen from this uh, table, from this uh, uh, bar chart. Also, the development is clearly visible. So, if we presently see the textile sector at a glance, uh, it, we have pri primary textiles. We have also processing industry. We have also uh, garments industries. So, young manufacturing. Manufacturing, we have now around 433 three number of mills, weaving mills 828, which has shuttleless loom as uh, non shuttle loom, uh, that is modern loom, shuttleless loom, line printing and finishing, which processes the uh, fabrics, you know, the yarn also, dyeing, printing, and finishing, that is more, it makes the fabric or product more attractive, and there are some special textiles like you know the special type of rope uh, home textiles and other things uh, uh, there are now uh, around 80 30, 3500 of the industry it was uh, more, more than uh, 4500 but recently due to some uh, problems in the industry the, it, it goes down to 3500 <laughs> Textile and uh, clothing manufacturing value chain, it uh, uh, start from raw material, so that is uh, fiber, uh, natural, it can be natural, it can be man-made. Uh, let's say, for example, cotton, polyester, nylon, these things are uh, fiber. And then uh, yarn, we have to make the yarn and then fabric, uh, then this fabric can be, will be used in uh, producing apparels in case of uh, uh, home, home textile, home furnishing, and industrial sector. This is also actually the main uh, area we need to look into it, that how the garments industry uh, uh, do the uh, apparel uh, product, uh, making the apparel product. It is start from research and development and design, some sample making, and then marker making, then pattern making, and then cutting, sewing, finishing, inspecting, and then the delivery to the um, uh, retailer. So uh, from that uh, slide, you, you can easily understand that it, it, it ICT linked to all these uh, activities, you know, from uh, uh, research, uh, design section, marker making to sample, uh, sample section to cutting, sewing, finishing, inspection, and then export to export and then it goes to the retailer. So from production to uh, the delivery of the product. The role of ICT in textile and garment, the value chain, the use of ICT is no longer an optional extra for developing country manufacturers. 
wanting to compete effectively in a global textile and garments market, where speed to market and price are key determinants. The shift to just-in-time operation is possible with the appropriate use of ICT across the length of the value chain. At the same time, as margins are driven lower by global competition, ICT can help is secure necessary cost saving in the sourcing and manufacturing process. The new style lean supply chain requires a very high level of coordination among manufacturers at the different stages. ICT is not an end in itself. It is important for a supplier in a developing country to appreciate that investment in ICT will not alone solve a business problem. The purchase of a new software system does not immediately win new customers or retain old ones. The key is to establish the desired business outcome and only then to ask what role ICT has in achieving these goals. There are three key areas of communication between retailer and manufacturer for which ICT is important. Exchange of information, including any data that influences the action and performance of other part of the supply chain. This includes sales data, inventory management, production schedule, and shipment details. Synchronizing uh, planning so that uh, all parties agree with what is to be done with the information that is exchanged. This will create strategies for product in, uh, introduction, forecasting, and replenishment. Workflow coordination, which exploits synergies between the different supply chain participants. A number of specific types of information and communication technology are used in textile and garment sector, many of which were created for other industries and then adapted for the need of the apparel value chain. A few of the most common types of system and typical scenarios are briefly described here, together with some recent advances, which are likely to become more common in coming years. ERP, electronic resource planning, is a system for managing integrating number of different business activities within the company, including order processing material, sourcing, manufacturing, account handling, logistics. A ERP system should provide access to a range of information and tracking data, including purchase order from customers, purchase order issued to fabric and trim supplier, fabric inventory control, garments production line processes, from cutting to finishing, a status of particular work order, work station usage performance, dispatch details, supplier in inventories, custom documentation. Through so ERP, there will be real-time information, which means that the supplier can see how their part of the supply chain is performing. Customers can be given reliable progress support and productivity can be improved after identifying bottlenecks. Stop time formally spent collecting data can be redeployed. There is another one, electronic data interchange, EDI, an internet-based data transmission system, supply chain management system, need communication network, connecting a supplier with the customer. EDI has traditionally been the most commonly used technology, but web-based systems are gradually taking over. EDI is a system which transmits documents electronically, in a standard format, format, thereby reducing cost and avoiding mistakes. During the course of a transaction of the garment, an EDI system can handle available inquiries, the purchase order from the retailer, an advance sh ship notice for, from the fabric supplier, an advance ship notice from the garment manufacturer, a report on the status of order, order amendments, generation of packing list, generation of printing and uh, of barcode levels, Automatic generation of an invoice, replenishment order, provision of the audit trial uh, covering. Recent web-based alternatives and a, a extensible markup language protocol system offer the same functionality as EDI, but without the need for a dedicated system for a single customer. And are more attractive and cheaper for a small and medium-sized supplier in developing countries. Web-based alternatives are making progress. Although many major clothing retailers continue to use the, their legacy EDI system, Walmart is the most on a, the very uh, prominent buyer in the world, uh, prominent retailer to have moved to internet uh, data exchange and is rolling out for uh, the move through its supply base. 
There is another one integrated system. It is an integrated supply chain. All partners will ideally have real time access to information from each stage of production. This is possible using a web based transaction and project management system. One typical example is the eTrack software application sold by integrated solution technology, a technology business started in 1998 by an apparel company. The timeline can include all stages from pre production to delivery. The sub-chain partners collaborate to modify this plan until it satisfies all their requirements. At the retailer's endpoint of sell information, it is closely related to inventory management. A fully integrated system will include real-time online inventory monitoring, which is vital if a stock level are to, to be kept low. Once this is achieved, a high level of tracking and service is available with information update and share in real time. Logistic e information, a transportation and warehouse, this is very also important, of good needs to be integrated with the rest of the supply chain if bottlenecks and delayed delivery are to be avoided. Manifest and custom documentation can now be held in online in some countries, which can speed up the bureaucracy considerably. The logistic information highway is a two-way street. The retailer and the supplier need to be able to track stock and shipments, but the farm's logistic manager also need to know about uh, upcoming order flow. A web-based system can provide this access to all the supply chain players. Design and virtual proto prototyping. ICT also has an important and growing role in the early design space of the product evolution, especially in garments and textile. Sophisticated computer-aided design, CAD software package cover all stages of the process from initial drawing to three-dimensional simulation of garments, falling on to pattern generation and production of data output suitable for a computer-aided manufacturing process. Virtual prototyping offers what is name suggests a digital prototype rather than a physical prototype used to simulate design and fabric, emulate comfort, and provide animation to demonstrate the garment. The application can assess the behavior of the garment's fabric in different posture, sitting, running, or in for instance, this offers the opportunity to speed the product development and would greatly cut costs. Prospective design can be shared quickly between a large number of people using internet transmission. Online portal. The internet offers easy and cheap access to information for developing country manufacturers who previously would be very isolated from global industry. Tech. Apart from keeping in touch with partners of demand, web access can also provide information on development in the relevant ICT technologies. E-commerce, this is very, very common nowadays. There are intrinsic limitations to buyer-to-buyer e-commerce sourcing in the textile and garment sector because of buyers usually need to handle samples and touch fabrics before making the decision. Even for those companies which do not want to take the risk, the internet provider access to details about the product on offer and their suppliers. As a seller, setting up a website, setting up a website, to showcase a company's uh, product is uh, straightforward. Does a developing country maker can use its own website to advertise its own product while using the web to search the site of companies from which it can source yarn, fabric, trims, and other accessories. One relationship are established between buyer and its preferred supplier. An internet-based system can be used for the negotiation and contract terms. Vendor manage inventory, a lean retailer want to do as little as possible apart from selling cloth. One way to achieve this is, the, is for the garment manufacturer to take responsibility for checking and replenishing the retailer's stock level so that so-called the vendor management inventory. BMI need a very high degree of system integration. The, the supplier receive information about sales and customs country, customer country inventory level through a EDI or web-based ICT link. Under VMI, uh, enormous trust is put in the overseas supplier, both in terms of giving them access to market sensitive information, control over inventory level. This makes inventory man management both easier. More importantly, any supplier who allows a customer to run out of a 
popular item or whose aggressive recording reordering leaves a lot of unsold stock will lose both business relationship and income. Radio frequency identification, this uh, RFID level or a smart tag and, and emits a radio signal that can be picked up by a short range of receiver. In the first instance, I RFID is being used to label planets and cartoons. The technology opens up the possibility of tracking items at the piece level, which should lead to, to great, greater efficiency in the supply chain and even more precise inventory control. RFID technology will start to matter for any developing country supplier that is providing labeling and packaging. Mass customization, the swift collection and transmission of data has created the potential of the, for garments to be manufactured for individual customer at an affordable price. The so-called lot size of one uh, or mass customization, the process depends on the possibility of being able to track an individual item through the supply chain, something that has become possible with ICT implementation usually involve these steps. A customer visit the store where a body scan the pro uh, uh, scan machine provides the necessary measurement. Alternatively, this can be done manually in a store uh, or provided direct by the customer from self-measurement and input to a website. The measurement and other details of the order, order uh, color number of units are transmitted by internet to the supplier factory. Made to measure the supplier generate the pattern. The fabric is cut, garment manufactured. The finished item can be shipped direct to the customer or to a specific store. This is very smart technology. ICT, how does ICT affect the value chain? The decision by a garment maker to invest in ICT can be made for both negative and positive reasons. In the former case, a supplier may have been told by a customer that compatible ICT system are now necessary even for existing business to be retained. Or a developing country manufacturer may start to find it impossible to win new business without being able to offer the level of service which is enabled by the use of the technology. In this case, ICT can be a prerequisite for retaining competitiveness in the global mar marketplace. But what about the more positive reason for investing in ICT? As already indicated, some of the be be benefits of technology include improved supply chain management, reduced supply chain costs, shorter rate line, efficient information exchange, creation of virtual network, and ability to handle smaller batches. The next step is for a developer country company to assess what opportunities can be created for moving into higher margin, more profitable areas of the value chain by utilizing appropriate information and communication technology. More developing countries, garments manufacturers do not have their own textile operation, but a virtual link can be established with a fabric manufacturer, securing a measure of vertical integration, even if actual material samples will always be necessary. A standardized item for trim accessories, such as jeep and buttons, are readily purchased using buyer to buyer system. At the other end of the factory production line, logistic and shipment are best handled and monitored using ICT. If the buyer wants the supply to manage inventory control, then this too is achievable with ICT. Thus, even a modest size garments manufacturer can be in position to offer a full package service and thanks to common electronic commerce tools. Conclusion. At the end, now what I, we can tell now, product and process innovation are now the key to survival in the textile and garments industry. ICT is an important technology which makes a developing country manufacturer globally competitive. There are opportunities in textile and garments for developing countries other than China, but only for those that define viable positions in the value chain. Producer outside China face a strategic challenges. A few will be able to compete in high volume uh, commodity product. Other will have to find particular niches. A speed to market and a full package service are the two main current requirements facing supplier. In the era of digitalization, Bangladesh is moving forward and ICT uses in every sphere of business activities uh, are increasing. Present government under the dynamic leadership 
of Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina also has taken pragmatic steps in the application of digital technology in the industrial sector, including our vibrant textile sector, which is the backbone of our national economy. With these new innovations, sustainable textile sector will further grow and country can meet the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal. Thank you very much for your patience in hearing. <laughs>